Well, senior officers, our current situation is dire. Now hear this. I know that some of you have not worked this closely together before. Frankly, I don't care. Okay, guys. Okay. Open the manual. Do you want to take a second to read it or just, just one of us want to read it? Or? Let's send the crew with the bilge pumps and send them on that direction. Great thinking. I'm glad somebody's taking action up there. Good job, Tom. The front of the shed, but we're not sure how big the difference it's making because the water is still coming in. We're going to have to do a lot more to save the shed. We, we, okay, we need to move, guys. Time is not on our side. Okay, so, okay. Um, so Wake up the third class passenger. Shh. Please, it's the middle of the night. People are trying to sleep. Cold walking on the doors. Oh my god. It's a blow them again. Hey, uh, this is going to sound crazy. I saw in the operations manual we have guns on board. Passengers? You want to shoot them? Let's go the lifeboats first, and then we know please save those passengers. Then we can worry about the rest of it afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say overfill them by 25 percent. By choosing to add women and children first and placing children in the laps of other passengers, you've been able to increase capacity on your lifeboats from 1,178 to 1,296 lives. Well done. Oh, thank you. Team, you made a valid effort. How did you show up as a leader and what would you do differently? I wanted to keep track of, say, the passengers, the crew, and the ship. Lots of times we jumped right into an action without thinking about its long-term effects because we just wanted to act now. But jumped right in to move toward the Carpathia. There was no analysis behind it. It was just idea, action it, go. Officers, the architect was incorrect. We do have more than the design time. Consider all of your resources and save the passengers, the crew, and the ship. Your experience starts again.